السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وآله وصحبه أجمعين Welcome my dear brothers and sisters to this quick reminder with Muslim do where they do a positive difference in your life inshallah Today's quick reminder to do with the charitable and voluntary work uh, in the uh, West or the impact of it in the West or in the Muslim community Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala respected brothers and sisters want us to be in what so called enjoining in what's good and forbidding what's bad Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not want us to be segregated and kept to our own self and just put in a box and live inside that box and leave the box and come back to the box. No, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants us to be positive distribut distributors and contributors spreading the positive work and the energy into the community. So this way you are part of the solution because we have so many challenges. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did pinpoint this reality in joining what's good and in piety. So therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam taught us that we are kalbunyan. You know, when you look at a brick wall, it leans on each other, it supports each other. So we are supposed to be this way. Otherwise, we are uh, in, a, in the minus, in the minus. And we are... Um, collaterals or what are we what are we in the community my dear brothers and sisters to do with the charitable work and uh, uh, voluntary work it is actually starting from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala I love to repeat this verse and this promise from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala man amila salihan min dhakaran aw untha wa huwa mu'minun falanuhyannahu hayatan tayyiba Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala pinpointed a promise whoever is doing good deeds male or female and they have sincerity right away we shall grant them good life so your sincerity in the work small big Actually, it counts, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the return, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the payment, right away to grant you good life. Does this good work, man amila salihan, does it apply to non-Muslim? Can I do good work, and can I help in a charitable work, or relief work, volunteer work? Can I do uh, that help for a non-Muslim? The answer is a big yes with a capital why so my dear brothers and sisters you have to realize that islam is color blind when it comes to charitable work when it comes to a relief work it doesn't matter what's your color your nationality your religion islam would say deal with people with good manners can i can i feed the non-muslim from my income can i feed them can I actually help them? Can I relieve them? The answer, yes. So therefore, your good work, your good deeds, your positivity into the community, that's what influence people. And that's the real impact in the West, real impact in the Muslim community as well. They are the number one beneficiaries. So therefore, you could be uh, giving books to people to do with Islam. Good idea. But the reality of the matter that you are the biggest book and the widest book, if people read through us proper Islamic treatment, proper generosity, proper kindness and relief work, they will be influenced. They will be influenced, my dear brothers and sisters. When you feed the stomach, when you feed the stomach, you can communicate with the brain. Don't communicate with the brain and the person is hungry. So therefore, what so-called food banks, Islamic food banks, is a great, great initiative, great deeds, and so great to see in the lineup non-Muslims. Or those who are, uh, we are delivering the food and the packages and the uh, happy basket, we call it, a lots of them also non-Muslims. This is actually what Islam is all about. So therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, do not talk to a person about Islam if they are empty stomach, on empty stomach. Me make sure you feed them. Make sure you make them satisfied with your good 
treatment. Otherwise, it won't work. Rasulullah Sallallahu did pinpoint a reality by saying, ما دخل الرفق على شيء إلا زانا means when a gentle approach administrated in a matter, it makes it beautiful. And what a beautiful gentle treat and gentle lubrication to the heart when you are involved in someone's life in a charitable way, in a relief way, uh, volunteering to help them go to the hospital, volunteering to help them even fixing their flat tire in the street. You stop and you're helping somebody Right? Well, I, from experience, uh, which is I don't know much about changing tires, and I saw a lady stuck in the street, and I said, okay, let me try. And I did change her flat tire. I was so impressed, but I did. I succeeded, alhamdulillah, and I'm not bragging about myself. And she ended up handing me some cash. I said, no, thank you. I actually, I get paid by the creator who created you and me, Allah. I'm a Muslim, and I walked away. Have a good day life i didn't tell her have a good day i said have a good life good day it's too cheap just one day so therefore my dear brothers and sisters truly truly to survive and thrive and to keep going and growing in our country canada may allah bless and protect canada you need to be part of the solution you need to be part of the volunteer work the charitable work the relief work and this way you are among those who allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves according to rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam who is rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam the chief engineer of happiness and the champion of success he did pinpoint a reality a beautiful reality by saying ahabbu an-nas ila allah anfa'ahum ila an-nas rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said the most among the people that allah loves the most those who are most beneficial to mankind did not say most beneficial to Muslims. So therefore, mankind, it counts. Humanity, it counts. And this way, you are respected. This way, you are not feared. Muslims of Canada, we are the cream of the creams of the Canadian society. But often people does not know much about us. And they, that's why when someone doesn't know anything about you, most likely they will fear you. And if somebody fears you, they will deliver a word against you. Next, they will deliver a rock against you. Next, they'll deliver something else. So therefore, you need to get, uh, to, uh, to, to get involved in people's life in a positive way. Yes, you may not be able to help 10, 20, 30, but you might be able to help and influence one heart. That one heart could be your key crowned with the rahmah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, crowned with the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to admit you into the Jannah. Yes, we are not looking at the volumes. We are looking at sincerity in the work. Ikhlas. Wonderful brothers and sisters. I always, I always believe from the bottom of my heart. Rabba mustami'an khayram mutakallim. Might be a listener better than a speaker. So therefore, race. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, فَاسْتَبِقُ khayrat. Right away, race to do good deeds. How? Scan your life, scan your surrounding, perhaps your next day neighbor, just bringing them a box of date, say, we're celebrating Ramadan, right? Just, you don't have to talk much about Islam, please, and it has to be sealed so they are comfortable to know that there's no germs and, you know, it's fresh and stuff like that. You will see that that particular action speaks volumes. Go back to the beginning of this topic which is charitable work and voluntarily or voluntary work and its impact on the West or on the Muslim community. By the way, Canada, one of the leading countries with voluntary work. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. And we have to copy Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the chief engineer of happiness and the champion of, of success by opening our hearts before opening our masajid and be part of the community. And what a beautiful taste. What a delicious taste when you make someone happy, when you mend a heart. Wallahi, we are color blind as Muslims. We don't look at the color, the nationality, the religion. We should actually, we should carry on the work with this particular mentality that opening our hearts before our masajid and extending the help, extending your time, 
perhaps your health is good enough to extend to extend your time the upper hand allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made you the upper hand to help not just to keep it for yourself to keep it for yourself i mentioned the last halaqa the last show keeping it for yourself it is a, a form of destruction so therefore wonderful brothers and sisters with this perhaps one minute i have left or two realize that you are meant when allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says فَاسْتَبِقُ الْخَيْرَاتِ Race for the good deeds. Right away, race for the good deeds. It's meant for you, not the person just next to you and you brush it away. No, have a good life. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to grant you good life. فَلَنْحْيَنَّوْ حَيَاتًا طَيِّبًا Start by your intention. I'm going to be ambassador for Islam with my good treatments with my voluntary work, with my relief work, perhaps my dollar speaks volumes. May Allah keep blessing you, loving you, my wonderful brothers and sisters. You are really loved by Allah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh.